Howdy folks! Welcome back to Conan Exiles. As you can see, I've been busy. Been hunting thralls. Got quite a few out here. I've got a uh, Tanner 3 here that's about halfway done. And I've got a the smelter there. We've got the blacksmith there. I've got uh, some level 2. We've got a carpenter armor and another armor. Level two, we got the sorcerer, of course, another smelter, and a carpenter two, and we've got an archer three. So, looking good on the thralls. I've got this fighter three here that've been leveling up a bit. Uh, he is up to level six. Got the fighter two that I had before. Uh, she's level five. Of course, we got the bearer that has not been leveled at all. And old Thugra here is chugging along at level fifteen. I forgot. I think I forgot to show in the video. He did get his level 15 perk, uh, which is Relentless. So he gets plus 5 on the Vitality. So he's doing awesome. And I've been leveling up his uh, Strength because he's got a good Strength weapon. But I've since switched him to leveling up a little extra boost on Vitality. Uh, he's got this Ancient Kopesh here. Been doing awesome with that. But anyway, what are we doing today? Well, today... Today I want to get an elephant. I want to get a baby elephant. So we need to get a stable built, and I'm not sure. Do I even have the right stuff? Uh, I need just a little small animal pen, right? Yeah, so wood, stone, and twine. We can do that. We can definitely do that, and we'll just kind of plop it. Plop it there. I'm going to click once just so it stays in the uh, inventory there. So we need some wood, we need some stone, and we need some twine. Is that going to be enough? It is. All right, cool. So just plop that right there. It's just temporary. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so we got that set there. We're probably going to need some grass, I think. Yeah, we've got a bunch of grass, so... I'm assuming that's what we're going to need. We may actually only need one. I don't remember exactly how that works. So we'll throw that back in there. Throw the twine back in there. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to make, like, a... What's it called? A decrafting station? I forget what it's called now. But I'd have to get... Uh, Carpenter's bench and a carpenter and a bunch of wood maids. I don't know. I'm tempted to make a base up here somewhere. Like a more permanent base. But I think I need to do some more exploring. But I don't want to get too distracted. Uh, today's mission is to go get an elephant. And there's usually a baby elephant kind of over there in the middle. So let's make sure we're ready to go for that. Come on, hop up. Uh, I did, okay, I did put the bed roll down. Let's just double checking. Let's have ourselves a little drinky drink. And just for funsies, I'm going to make sure water skin is full. And we're not going to need that. How are we doing on arrows? We're down to 98 arrows. I've been using a lot of arrows leveling these guys up. Another reason to make a carpenter bench. Start making some arrows. Let's go have a little peek over here. So we got Mr. Big Elephant. Usually there's a baby elephant out over there. I'm not seeing one now. He could be out of... Oh, there he is. I was going to say, he could be out of render distance. So I'm probably going to either aggro the dude or the elephant. So let's let's go grab Thugra. I think he's probably far tougher than anybody. Let's bring him with us, just in case we start getting in trouble. Double check. Uh, yeah, he does have his weapon back. So, let's go see if we can get an elephant. And it looks like nobody's spawned in over here again. 
I don't remember seeing any comments about that on my last video. I don't know if it's because I because I spawn in here. I'm just too close, maybe. But hey, there's nobody here, so we'll sneak across. Now there's a big elephant, and then there's there's a tiger over there. Is there anybody hiding down? I was just a, yeah. There is a tiger hiding down there. He apparently has a path up here. <laughs> Get him, Tugra. Get him. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I could really use the bone more than anything, but I don't. Can we get Tiger's skin? Let's go for the skinning knife. Yeah, we get Feline Pelt. So we may need that for something at some point. So there's a couple more tigers over there. What I'm thinking is we can get those tigers taken care of and then just yoink him. Let's see if I can get Thugger down here without aggroing half the map. I reckon if I shoot one of those, they're both going to come over here. Or I could just miss completely. Yeah, here they come. Alright, let's see if he can get the aggro. No, I need you to aggro this one too. on him. Oh, I took a hit. Ow. <laughs> it's okay. We'll eat some meat. Apparently you can get stuck on the tree branches. Gotta watch out for that. Don't need that. Okay, now can we just run in here and yoink? I'm gonna have you stop. We're running here and yoink him and then run. Run away. Maybe. And yoink. Run away! Oh, I was trying to alt look. I've been playing Arma. <laughs> All right, let's just scale the wall out of here. Go get him put in the uh, cage. Now, do we have people up here? No, we apparently still don't have people spawning here. That's interesting. But I bet if I went over there to the other place and came back, there would be people here. So let's go see if grass will get this guy going. So I'm thinking the elephant might be able to pack quite a bit. I didn't bring my gazelle with me. All right, so we put Mr. Elephant in there and he is crafting. All right, cool. And we just needed the one grass, I think. Let's throw that in there. So while that's going on, um, what would it take to get a carpenter bench down? Because I think the carpenter bench is what I need for arrows, right? This is the artisan table. All right, good work, Thugra. Go back on guard. So if we go to carpentry, we've got the... Oh, it's just wood and... Okay. We can do that. Let's 
Just wood and stone. Crouch, can I move a little slower? Alright, now I have a carpenter. Uh, yeah, carpenter too. So let's throw him in there. Grab some wood. And I need shaped wood, so let's craft that up. How many shaped wood do I need? Oops, wrong button. And it was under... Is it smithing? I can never remember where that breakdown bench is. There it is, dismantling bench. Oh, we need insulated wood. Stop! <laughs> oh, we need dry wood and resin. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and have you craft up 50 of that, just in case we need it for something. And then we need branches. Oh, I don't have feathers. Right. Grab some metal. Some branches. Yeah, I forgot. I need the uh, the feathers for that. So I have to look around and find some feathers. And man, it got dark. Refill while we're here. So my goal is to get the dismantling bench. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get some resin, which I think don't we get that? F Do we use a pick to get the resin? Then I'm going to have to find a source for the uh, dry wood. Which I believe over there by that pond is a bunch of dry wood. So I may end up building a base over here. Maybe not right here, but probably in this area. So I kind of want to do more stuff and the thralls are all right here. It just kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, I can make branches, can't I? I forgot about that. Don't need to make branches, but the option's there. I can also make bark. All right, uh, let's take, let's take you. Let's go get some wood real quick. I'm gonna throw my hatchet back down there. I know I can't use it while mounted. There's still nobody at that camp. Yeah, there's a bunch of dry wood over here. So let's grab some dry wood and we'll get some insulated wood going. That'll let me get a dismantling bench over here. I've got a lot of armor that I don't need. And I can break it down for stuff uh, to repair my own armor. Save me having to go out and farm stuff for bones and whatnot. Of course, you're going to give me branches. Why are you not giving me dry wood? Whee! Once that into the stratosphere. Here, we finally got some dry wood. Oh, here comes frickin' frack. Okay, fine. I'll just hit you. <laughs> oh, apparently there's a, a daily to defeat hyenas. Do I need to use a different tool or something? Why is this giving me branches? That gives me bark. I mean, the sickle shouldn't do anything. Weird. 
Just RNG, maybe. I mean, we are getting a little bit of dried wood. I guess I can make a dryer. I think I could dry out these branches. Turn them into dry wood. I don't remember what I need to make the dryer. That's why I need a base out here. Well, we got some. I guess we're going to have to call that good enough. Let's head back over to the base. I guess the outpost. It's, it's more of an outpost right now. Yeah, I don't see people up there. I think I have to get a certain distance away. Then they will spawn. So we got a little bit of dried wood, we got a little bit of that. Let's craft all the insulated wood we can. And let's actually cancel that for now. Been working on that, and what do I need for a drying station? I need shaped wood, hey, look at that. <laughs> so I need 20 of that. And then I'm gonna have to make some more twine, because I think I'm getting a little low. Let's just stick a drying rack like right here. And I think it uses, does it use bark for fuel? I kind of forget what it actually uses for fuel. And then if I put branches in there, there we go. So that'll be our dried wood source. So I think if I had the, there's another station where I can make twine really easily, but it's easy enough to make it on my own as well. So Mr. Elephant's coming along nicely. I'm going to leave a little bit of grass in there just in case. So I need something to eat when he gets mature. And then let's just craft up a bunch of this. I'll have that crafting in the background. So our little base is growing, so that's why I'm kind of thinking I might, maybe I should just build a permanent base here. Only do it, uh, something a little more interesting. Problem is I don't own any DLCs, uh, so I don't have like the, the cool building stuff. I've just got the basic shapes. And I, don't, I keep thinking about the purge, and I just, I don't know. I like building and exploring. I don't know if I'll turn the purge on. So if I'm not going to have purge, I could just build with this. And it wouldn't take, you know, a ton of materials that are harder to craft. Uh, I did want to get her making some of these, though. Let's have her make 50 of those, just so they're there. This is why I want the dismantling bench, so I can dismantle all that stuff um wouldn't hurt to get a tannery going but I, i'm kind of running out of room here <laughs> so i don't know i don't know if i want to make it here maybe i should scout around a bit uh, i haven't been like you know all up in here it's pretty green over here but i have a feeling that's going to be oops more higher level stuff I haven't been over here yet. I've heard this is really dangerous. I think maybe this is the city I need to go to. Now, where was... I zoom out. A Gulot that I used to play with. Tell me on Discord. This, at least his base was in G4. Maybe I misread that. Yeah, I found a tanner too there at some point. So, you know, you can see my markers here. This is pretty much where I've explored, except for the little side trip for the horses. 
But I wouldn't mind having a base somewhere up here close to the, where all these thralls are. We'll see. I'll probably do some exploring around. I think that'll do it for this episode, though. Uh, we got our baby elephant. It's just going to be a matter of time until we get an actual elephant. Which will be pretty cool. Uh, at that point, if it can carry a lot, I might make a trip back to the starter base for more materials to bring up here. Uh, maybe break down some of the crafting stations. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I rebuild a base up here somewhere? Uh, should we keep shuttling back and forth? I've got kind of the basics here. I can cook and fix my armor, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next adventure, folks. Thanks as always for watching. Made it this far. Thanks again.